Doctor, let's talk about cancer a little bit and how vitamin D may help that disease. And I, I like the, the, the example that you gave with the I Love Lucy assembly line scene, one of the classic moments in all of television. But talk about that a little bit and, how, and why you use that example. So, um, so the, the question of cancer is how do we think cancer forms? Um, and we think uh, the, the, the analogy I use in the book is, is the I Love Lucy assembly line where she's making candy in the candy factory. Um, uh, and it's a, it's a germane example because I come from the Detroit area and the auto industry is all about assembly mm -hmm. lines. Okay? So <clears throat> when, you're, when a cell is going through its developmental stages along the way, things get added on and screwed on and, and it's like an assembly line. <clears throat> But we know that sometimes things don't get put on correctly, and they need to be corrected. Okay, and, but if the assembly line is moving too quickly, those corrections can't happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anything that speeds up cell cycle, makes the assembly line move faster, is going to adversely affect your risk for cancer. Risk for cancer is going to go up. Anything that doesn't allow the right people to come in and correct a mistake, um, uh, um, it, your risk for cancer is going to go up. Anything that interferes with um, differentiation, normal differentiation of cells, okay? So in this case, an assembly line would be, well, um, uh, the, the person who designed the flow of the assembly line designed it wrong, and so things are not progressing normally, okay, will increase your risk for cancer. Because what happens is when cells get put together wrong, then they also don't respond to normal control signals, and now they're out of control, mm -hmm. okay? So in this analogy, you can look at all these different points, and vitamin D is important at all of these points. Vitamin D is important. Uh, there's these cell cycle inhibitors, um, uh, uh, proteins, P21 and P27. Um, and when vitamin D is around, P27 can slow cell cycle. Um, uh, when vitamin D is not around, P27 is not activated and does not slow cell cycle. Mm. So cell turnover is faster in the absence of vitamin D. So the assembly line is moving faster when vitamin D isn't okay. around. Vitamin D is also important in normal differentiation of cells. So it cooperates with all these other growth hormones, estrogen, testosterone, growth, somatomedins or growth, human growth hormone. And they all together sit down like a design team and they say, okay, here's how we're going to put this together. Now, when several pieces of the design team are missing, uh, you're more likely to not put this thing right, together right. Mm -hmm. um, and that leads to problems, okay? So the absence of vitamin D um, uh, can lead to abnormal differentiation of a cell, um, whereas in its presence, it, it follows the normal course of differentiation. And this probably has to do with vitamin D activating certain genes that are really important in directing cell development. Mm -hmm. Vitamin D is also important in uh, apoptosis, Okay, apoptosis is, now say the, 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 the car gets to the end of the, the line or whatever product it is, I don't want to diss the, the auto industry, <laughs> get to the end of the line and it's just not working right. They try and, they try and get the toaster to work and it just, it's, the, the elements aren't coming on. What are we going to do with it? Well, you'd like to destroy the product so it doesn't go to market or yeah. recycle it somehow. And guess what? Vitamin D is right there helping that happen too. So the, the term we use in, in, in biology is apoptosis, which is self-destruction. Remember a Mission Impossible where the tape would self-destruct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is vitamin D can activate that program and the tape will self-destruct or this defective product will self-destruct, um, okay. which, which removes it from a possibility of causing problems uh, down the road. So, so these are some of the ways in which vitamin D reduces our risk for uh, malignancy. And these things are happening at all life stages of all cells in our body. Mm -hmm. okay? So when you think about it again, I know I've harped on the whole childhood thing, but we believe that our risk for things like breast cancer and prostate cancer begin in childhood, probably around adolescence when those tissues are undergoing development mm -hmm in adolescence. So all of a sudden there's lots of testosterone and estrogen and these glands in our prostate and in our breast are developing at a rapid rate. What they've shown is that if they take um, vitamin D deficient rats, vitamin D deficient rat models, that their breast tissue develops completely abnormally. And, it, and it had, there's more duct work, the breasts are larger. All of those characteristics correlate with a higher risk for breast cancer in humans. Mm. And they're created by just making the animal vitamin D deficient during breast development. I mean, this is, this is, anyway, so you start looking at this, you go, so maybe if our kids just had more vitamin D in 
through adolescence, early, early, you know, mid-childhood and adolescence, mm -hmm. through the, the cycle where they're pre-adolescent um, and through adolescence, maybe we drop their risk of breast cancer by half or more, mm -hmm. or prostate cancer. So again, it's, a, it's an example of where, because normal vitamin D levels are promoting normal differentiation of these prostate and breast cancer cells. They're slowing differentiation down, so it's not this out-of-hand growth and development, okay? And they're using all of these mechanisms to make sure that the, the prostate and the breast are right-sized and normal architecture. And that can only serve you well as your breasts go through their life cycle uh, and your lifetime. Um, and again, so something going on during development, during the construction phase of things, because of the absence of vitamin D, increases your risk for a disease at the back end of life in your 50s and 60s. Um, uh, and so vitamin D is, is, is a really a critical nutrient on all kinds of levels um, uh, for lowering your risk for, for cancer. Mm -hmm.